Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Like most of you, I've been playing Football Manager for a number of years now and I just wanted to share with you guys some tips and tricks that I've learned that will help you take a team from the bottom of English football all the way to the promised land of the Premier League and beyond. In this series, I'll take you through my tactics, my formation, my instructions and all of the day-to-day -day running of the club. Um, so without any further ado, let's jump into the video. <laughs> Okay, so here we are, Hood takes charge at Bath. Um, the reason I decided to go for Bath City as the club that I was going to manage is because I live in the south of England, so I was always going to pick a National League South team. And uh, based on my geographical location, I live in Bristol, uh, Bath is the closest team to me in that division. Um, so that's why I've picked Bath. Um, just sc scanning through some stuff here. Obviously, tactics induction, I know what I'm doing with tactics. If you're new to the game, I would highly recommend you taking all of the inductions humanly possible. Now we move on to one of the main things that you as a manager are judged on and that is the club vision and expectation. Um, as you can see here my main goal is to work within the wage budget. Don't want Bath City going out of business. As you can see for the current season my goals are to finish in the top half of the Vanarama South, reach the fourth qualifying round of the FA Cup and the first round proper of the FA Trophy which is all very achievable I would say. I'm actually looking to get promoted right off the bat in the first season so I'm hoping I don't disappoint with this. Okay so once you've read all your emails the first thing you're going to want to do is take a look at your squad. So click on the squad screen. As you can see this setup is slightly different to what I thought uh, what you guys may be uh, seeing. That is because I have a specific custom view set up here. That is from FM Scout. I will leave a link in the description to all of the uh, add-ons that I use, be it the uh, views, face packs, uh, logo packs, all of that sort of stuff will be in the description down below. So make sure you check that out. It's quality stuff from those guys. So as you can see here, Noah Chilvers, very good player. I believe he's on loan. Is he on loan? On loan from Colchester. So it's not ideal having your best player on loan, but at this sort of level, you kind of need loans to survive and progress. Um, so let's also have a look at the development centre and see if we have any other players in here. So let's have a look at the squad. Nobody. Nobody in the under 23s. Good start. How about the under 18s? Sam Pearson. You got a loan in our under 18s. On loan from Bristol City. Well, they're not going to be happy if he is not in the first team. So we will move Sam Pearson to the first team. So now I've got my squad. Next thing I'm going to do is take a look at my tactic that I'm aiming to play. I've got it set up already. Uh, mine is a custom Gagan Press, uh, which I feel is very uh, influential in world football at the moment. But also probably the best tactic in football manager. Attacking mentality. I'll do a separate video running through all of this, but this is the formation that I want to play. I want to pack the midfield, um, as many bodies as humanly possible in there for the conference, I think is a good way to go. So this is a tactic I want to play. I also want to take a look at the squad in relation to that tactic. So I'm going to hit the quick pick button and my assistant manager will pick a team for me. So taking a look at this, this is the best 11 from what we have on offer. Yeah, see, I thought Pearson would get into the starting 11. Um, so this is what we have. Taking a look at things, there's a few issues here, obviously major issues in the centre of the park with the orange. Um, we'll look at addressing these very, very soon. Um, however, a man, don't know who you are, Adam Mann, one star, you're a winger, can't play central attack in the field. You, sir, will probably not play in the team. Other than that, let's take a look at the rest of the team. So in goal, you've got Brian Clark, journeyman goalkeeper. It's what you want at this level, 37 years old, probably not the most agile. Decent reflexes, decent handling, decent one-on-ones, good positioning. Um, I actually think he'll be quite a good goalkeeper for this level. Moving on to the fullback position, Ashley Harper, contract is for Bath, but he's in a Bristol City kit there. Decent stats again for this level, nothing too spectacular. Good determination, it's nice to see. Onto the centre backs. I like to play ball playing centre backs, however, at this level, I can understand that there's not going to be an abundance of those. However, saying that, Jack Batten with passing of eight is actually pretty good for a centre back at this level, so I'm actually quite happy with him. 
uh, as well as that, other defending stats, heading, marking, tackling, positioning, all pretty good. Good jumping reach as well at 6'3", pretty good so far. What about his partner in central, central defence? Alex Hartridge, on loan from Exeter City, decent value. Paying £70 a week for that. Cheers, Exeter. <laughs> really appreciate that. Uh, again, decent heading, decent marking, uh, decent tackling, good positioning. All decent stuff that you want to see. I'd like to see some more mental attributes, but, you know, beggars can't be choosers at the conference south level. Into the left-back position, we have Dan Ball, 27 years old, from uh, contracted to Bath, which is good. Small wage, happy with that. Good heading, very good marking and tackling and positioning, actually. Dan Ball, very good. I actually quite like him. You will stay in the team, sir. So... Ideally, I'd like a deep line playmaker here, someone who can actually get the ball and move the team forward. However, it doesn't look like we have that in abundance. We've got more of a ball winner, uh, yeah, ball winner midfielder in Tom Smith. However, I've just clocked, he has the model citizen personality, which is the best personality you can have in the game. So, ooh, and he has dictates tempo. Hmm, maybe he could be the centre midfielder that I'm looking for. Okay, so now in the wingers, uh, we have Ua Ed Oof, I'm going to butcher this name, Ua Edwards, who's on loan from Bristol City again, playing another solid £25 a week. Um, good dribbling, good first touch, can cross the ball. That passing, I'd like to improve, but we'll work on that. Good technique, good flair, good, pretty good pace for this level as well, actually. Exciting young prospect who isn't far from first team. Kind of right. He will be playing in the first team, I'm pretty sure. And his counterpart on the other wing... Again, is Sam Pearson, yeah. So Sam Pearson is the person that I clocked in our under-18s. Again, on loan from Bristol City, because he's only 17 years old. That's why he's in the under-18s. Worrying that he's got one strength. Wow. How are you How are you that weak? How is that possible? But again, the same as Edwards. He's got good crossing, good dribbling, good first touch. This guy can actually pass the ball a bit better. So he is actually a slightly better prospect. So I've got one empty cam spot here. We'll have to find someone to fill that. And then to play alongside Noah Chilvers, the guy who's unknown from Colchester, best player on our team, four and a half star current ability, um, very good technically all across the board for an 18-year-old, good determination, um, good teamwork, good work, bro. Again, decent pace for this level, very happy with this guy as a player. And last but by no means least is the striker, Ryan Brunt. Decent stats for this level, actually. Very, very good um, however, I am slightly worried that he's a target man. I'd much rather play an advanced forward. Um, he basically, long story short, he's just not quick enough. So I'm sure, I'm sorry, Brunty, we will have to remove you from the squad. Okay, so you can see the gaps that I'm going to look to fill um, in, in the next episode. Um, we've got some good options on the bench as well, I believe, in Ross Stern. Yep, can play on both wings, so he will definitely be an option for me. Um, who else from memory? Uh, Lewis Britton, on loan from Bristol City, decent striker. Again, not blistering pace. At this level, all you need is someone to chip and chase, to be honest. Um, so I'm going to look for someone who's a little bit quicker, but we'll do that in the next episode. So make sure you check it out. <laughs>